it's all very well me being passionate about science and expecting people to sit and listen to me. But that's a one-way activity. Having, being able to interact and ask questions and get answers, I think is much more fulfilling. So I think something like Eureka is absolutely vital. If only every town and city in the country had something like that, it would be amazing. My name is Jim Al Khalili and I'm a professor of physics and a professor of the public engagement in science here at the University of Surrey. I'm also an author and broadcaster. Children naturally ask the why question, but why is this? And you explain, but why, but why, but why? Uh, for me, a scientist is someone who just hasn't stopped asking why. And I think that's something that we should encourage in children to, to keep them doing it. We certainly don't have enough children going into science and engineering and so first and foremost I think having a teacher that's enthusiastic that's inspiring is vital but teachers can't do everything parents of course those parents that are interested in science can infect that the, the enthusiasm their children with that same enthusiasm but again that's not always the case parents they may not have the time they may not have the background information and so having other outlets having a place to go where the children can can really let loose, can really let their imagination go, and to have the opportunity of getting answers by allowing these questions to be answered somehow, I think is vital. Keeping that curiosity going. We're all scientists, we're born scientists, we're born wanting to know and to be curious. So to keep it going, keep it alive is vital. Something like Eureka, I think, gives them a much more direct, interactive experience where they can put their ideas to the test, they can explore, that can inspire the children. Very often children will, 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 will go away from places like that with a spark of, of something, saying, thinking, that's it, I want to be like that, I want to learn more about that, I want to be a scientist or an engineer. So those sorts of places where children can go and really explore and ask questions and more importantly find the answers is something that I think has to be part of what I hope is every child's upbringing.